AI video generation is not coming slow and today the Hyper AI released their version 2 and this is insanely good. Obviously they have improved their text to video model, image to video model and video to video model but other than that they have introduced some cool features like you can change the expression of any video, you can make someone dance and you can morph yourself into animals, you can make two separate images to hug each other. So these are just the examples but there are a lot of different things to try so I'm very excited Let's dive in. So if you are into the AI, you probably know about the Hyper AI because as usual we have already covered a detailed video on this topic. But if you're new, you can learn a lot from this video. So this is the website and if I scroll down, you can see some of the templates that they have introduced that are fun to use and we're gonna try all of them later in the video. But first of all, we're gonna look at their text to video model. So here we have the text to video model and from here you can see we have two models. You can select the Hyper 2.0 or you can select the previous model. So let's try any prompt. A woman wearing a red dress and sunglasses walking on a Tokyo street at night. So this is the famous Sora prompt. And then we have the enhance button. So if you enable the enhance prompt, the AI will automatically add some more details in your prompt and hit create. And just like other AI video generation model, it gives you some free credits to give it a try. Alright, so this is the first output and if we look at the video, it's very stylized video. Uh, we don't have much realism in the video and uh, this is kind of a decent video. We have very slow motion in it. Not that realistic look as we can imagine from the tools like the Minimax and other tools, but it's a decent video. Um, but one thing that you will notice that there is some kind of, uh, you know, distortion or morphing near her lips, uh, especially to the teeth. And you can also notice something around the sunglasses. But the next video came up very well. You can see we have more realism and more cinematic look to it. And uh, yes, I used the same prompt that I used in my previous video, a cinematic movie short of a detective walking on a street dimly lit. And this keyword works really well for me. Yes, the video is very low quality, but we have their built in video upscaler that we're gonna try later on but if we look at the movement walking on a street yes the feet kind of morphs into each other but other than that uh, this is acceptable this is very good looking video and then i tried a panda playing a guitar this is kind of an animated video and uh, yeah this is good and talking about their video enhancer let's upscale this video so first of all let's download this video and then go ahead to the video enhancer and now upload your video. So let's upscale this and let's see what we get out of it. Alright, so this is the upscale version of this video and the, yeah, this is obviously improved but it didn't, you know, uh, fix those bugs in the videos but it just upscaled this video to the 1080p which is quite impressive. Now before moving forward, I want to thank all of you for being the part of this community. We finally hit the 50,000 subscribers and now we are aiming for the 100k and I just noticed that only 6.7% subscribe the channel and 93% do not subscribe the channel. So if any of my video ever helped you, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This will help me a lot. Now let's get back to our topic. And talking about image to video, again select your image to video model. And here you can see we have the option to upload three different frames here, just like the Luma AI or the Kling AI. But this feature is coming soon. Right now we only have access to the single image. So let's upload this selfie image. And I'm gonna give it a prompt of woman taking selfie. Enhance prompt will be enabled and hit create. All right, so this is the output. And to be honest, I am very impressed by this output. And you can see the woman is smiling and even though the teeth wasn't visible in our input image, but it tried to give new teeth to this woman. And this is very good. Uh, we don't have any problems with the teeth. We don't have any issues with the uh, lips. Yes, there is some slight, you know, you can tell that this is AI generated. But other than that, if we look at the output itself, this is very impressive. Obviously, this is not at the level of the other video generation tools like Runway and other tools. But this is a huge upgrade to its previous model because the previous model was able to generate only two seconds long videos and the video quality wasn't really good. But in this one, we have a lot of improvements. Now, here is one more image video output we have very slow mo kind of look to it but the good thing is that we don't have any morphing effect with the eyes the woman is looking straight in the camera she's blinking slightly and it looks very natural now here is the one more output and i typed close up in the prompt section and you can see when the camera zooms in the camera blurs a bit so this is kind of a old school camera i would say i don't know and here is one more output where she is holding a glass of wine and i don't know where 
the other glass came from but the impressive thing is that when the woman gets close to the camera the camera focuses only on the glass of wine and this thing happens in a real cameras also so if you notice in the initial frames the woman was in focus but when the woman gets close to the camera it only focuses on the glass of wine now let's move on to the video to video feature and uh, let's say we have this video and it works as an in painting option so you can see we have the very region option here so if i click on that you can see we have the option to select the objects in the video so you can select the main subject you can select the background so you can select whatever thing you want to change in your video so, so let's change the main subject of the video and type in an old man and let's see what it comes up with all right so this is the output video and now our main subject has been replaced with this old man this is some kind of uh you know style transfer it looks kind of a style transfer feature because it added some kind of a stylization and also changed the background so i think it works as a stylization feature now let's talk about some of the templates that they have made so you can see we have different templates like you can change the expression of the video so in this one they changed the expression and applied this expression to this uh, you know 3d puppy or whatever you want to call it 3d cartoon and if i scroll down you can see we have this dancing woman so let's try this hugging viral hugging video so hit create and uh, now we have to upload two separate images so in this idea section we have some pre-made images so let's select the nikola tesla and let's make it hug the einstein all right so there we have it and now two legend scientists are hugging each other after a long time and if we talk about the video itself yes there is some kind of a morphing effect when uh, they are holding each other but other than that it's kind of a good video but these kind of videos are just for fun and i think it fulfills that requirement and here we have a one more template where you can turn yourself into any animal like this woman has been turned into a cat and let's try this one so i'm gonna use the default images again let's select this model and hit create all right so this is the output video and yes this is good it's kind of funny at the same time and these kind of videos looks very good on the social media and you can get a uh, great engagement on these kind of videos so you can do this thing with your own images you can try any actor whatever thing you want to do it depends on you but this is cool so we have a lot of different templates that you can try inside of the hot section or uh, you can see these are some of the hot templates that are trending right now you can try this thing with the meme and uh, you can try this dancing template and all of these things are just for fun so you can generate some really cool stuff here so this was the quick go through to the hyper 2.0 you can try different kind of templates you can generate someone hugging each other you can make them kiss each other and there are a lot of cool things that you can try with this model so that's it from today i hope you guys enjoyed something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one